I've been continuing with the uh, silver soldering of the boiler. So I've uh, silver soldered in the tube plate. There's a lot of overspill of silver solder, but I think that's okay. Um, looks like we've got a good fillet around each uh, tube. And when I look down the barrel, the tubes as I can see, it looks like they've got a good fillet on the inside. It'll be difficult to see on camera, but it does look sound. So hoping for the best. I've also gone ahead and done some of the stairs. And looking down between the firebox and the side plate here, I can see a fillet on both sides of every stair, so that's looking pretty sound. A little bit of overspill of silver solder on the outside, but it's flat and I think it's okay. It's not brilliant, but I think it's sound. This is not an easy job. Um, it takes a lot of practice. I'd probably need to build, I think, two or three boilers before I could get really good at this. Now we've had one disaster. So this site hasn't got the stairs in yet and I'd silver soldered these uh, studs in from the inside for these brackets to go on. And when I was doing the stairs on the other side, I made these little plates. <clears throat> I've got a little screw in there so it stands off from the copper face. And I put that on there and I put nuts on. So the idea being is if the silver solder holding these studs in melted, then they wouldn't fall through. In hindsight, I don't think it would have made any difference, but anyway. So I had a plate like that on here with the nuts on and a, a one on here with the nuts on. And when I came to, after silver soldering the stairs in on the other side, when I came to release the nuts, I had problems. So what actually happened was, on the, these six bolts, I snapped two of the studs. Um, they're still long enough to just get a nut on a little bit, about half, a, half the depth of a nut maybe. Um, but anyway, there's four good ones left, so that's, that's not a problem, happy with that. But on the bottom, I snapped all three. So they were here, so I just filed them flat. Um, I'm thinking about that, so we'll see later on what we do. So to continue the silver soldering now, we just need to, to drill these stairs through because the inside of the firebox on that side is not drilled yet. As you can see. Yeah, that's good. It's not tight, it needs to be a little bit slack for the silver sole at the floor. This is what I'm using for the stairs. They're copper rivets, 1 8th diameter, 3.2 millimeters. So I think these are about an inch long. That's fine. And we'll just leave that for, it's pretty clean already, so I'll probably just leave that for 10 minutes. Okay, that's been about uh, 10 minutes. form a ring from a piece of silver solder just using pliers it's just roughly
place the uh, ring of silver solar over the stay, apply some flux, put it into the firebox. I also apply some flux to the outside. Now this site's not going to be silver soldered initially. The first silver soldering operation is on the inside. Um, so this is this side is done as a separate operation later on. But the reason why I'm applying the flux now is that um, this is going to get quite hot even though I'm just soldering the inside this side is going to get very hot and the chances are that the flux will melt and as it does that it's going to clean the surface and hopefully uh, keep it uh, clean from oxidation for when we do come to uh, later on silver solder this side so that's the idea whether that's what people normally do I don't know whether it works I don't know but uh, I don't think it will harm anything so that's all the rivets uh, installed now ready for silver soldering so this side is, as I said, the side that we are going to apply heat. This side is going to get pretty hot. Uh, heat's going to travel along those rivets or those stairs very quickly. So as the heat's coming from the inside here, um, if that uh, flux does melt then it's going to be drawn towards the heat and the capillary action is going to pull it through the, um, the hole in which the uh, stair is inserted. So hopefully it'll uh, keep it clean or clean it a little bit more. Um, don't think it can do any harm. Uh, for better or for worse, that's what we're going to do. Clumsy. So since uh, silver soldier on the inside of the firebox with those stairs, it's been in the pickle bath or the acid bath about an hour. So we'll take it up and have a look. It's looking pretty clean. <clears throat> I've dried it off a bit and uh, this is the outside obviously and you can see where the flux has been on a lot of these uh, stairs it's a lot cleaner around the, the hole that the stair comes through so that should probably be the uh, the flux keeping it clean so maybe it'll help on the next silver soldering operation
on the inside there's some excessive silver solder getting spread around a bit but every one looks like it's got a good fillet around it it looks solid difficult to show on the camera but when you look down between the two walls each uh, steer seems to have a good bit of fillet on the inside so I think it looks good so previously when I was silver soldering these steers and I left these uh, steers long and then cut them off afterwards this time I'm going to cut them short before I silver solder so I've just got a little spacer get a height keep them all pretty consistent and snip them off Looks like the studs have survived, hopefully. So we've got quite a bit of solder where we don't need it, but the important thing is that every stay on the outside has got a fillet and every one on the inside has also got a fillet. That's a good shot, hopefully you can see down there. So there are three silver soldering jobs left, two of them pretty major. The first one is to silver solder some stairs into this portion of the boiler, which I have not made yet, so that's the next job. And one of the major ones is putting in the silver soldering in the dome. Which doesn't fit anymore. <coughs> and also putting on the uh, back plate. So there are two jobs that are going to need a considerable amount of heat. The very last job will be filling in the gaps around the bottom of the firebox. Um, it's got in there but I can't remember what it is. But I think that would be uh, one of the easier jobs. And then that will complete the boiler apart from the hydraulic test. Thanks for watching.